We'll guide you through how to fix Reset Face ID grayed out on an iPhone. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. Here we are on my iPhone. So it can be a really annoying problem when the Face ID reset button is grayed out because this means it then can't go and be pressed. And if you're wondering what it can go and do is what when you go and press that, essentially it goes and removes the Face ID you've got set up on the device. What you can then do is go and set it up again and you can go and add your face or perhaps somebody else's. Or what you can do is just go and keep it turned off because some people don't like using it and they'd rather just go and use the normal passcode. It's much easier than you probably think, so let's get right into it. So what we can do is go and open up the settings on our iPhone like so. Go and find the option for Face ID and Passcode. If you're finding the Face ID and Passcode setting is completely missing here and you can't even find that, this is due to restrictions on your device. So you need to come into screen time, you need to go into content and privacy restrictions, and you need to go and turn this off completely. Or you can go and scroll down and find allow changes to passcode and face ID and set that to allow. With that turned off or allowed to be changed, you may need to go and enter in the passcode as well for the screen time settings of that set. If you don't know it, you have to get the person who does know it to do that. Then we can come back and you'll go and find the option for face ID and passcode. If I then go and enter in my passcode just to go and unlock it, we can scroll down and you'll go and see reset face ID is grayed out. And it says, Face ID is required while stolen device protection is turned on. So stolen device protection says what it is. It will stop the person who stole your phone from using it and accessing certain features and doing certain things. So what we need to do is go and turn that off. There are different ways you can go and find this setting. The first way you can go and scroll down on this page and find stolen device protection. Or alternatively, we can come back to settings here. And then what you want to do is go into privacy and security. Then we want to go and scroll down like this. And you want to go and find the option for stolen device protection at the bottom. Then you can come here. And what you can do is go and hit the switch. And it will then go and turn off. You need to do face ID there. Now, if you're, if you're away from a familiar location, which is a location where your iPhone spends a lot of time at, or it's set to always, there will be a security delay. So you have to go and wait for that delay to complete to go and turn it off. You can come to Face ID and Passcode like so. And what you can then do is you can go and see the Reset Versity button is now available. 